We made it to Friday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. With many colleges on spring break already, we expect a slowdown in visits for this month. In fact, Lamar Community College canceled their visit next week. However, if you signed up to go to the Pikes Peak Workforce Center field trip today, please be sure to check in with Mr. Thiel or Ms. Christensen in the Counseling Center. Seniors, remember, Pikes Peak Community College will be back on April 11th to help you sign up for your classes. College visits will start up again on Thursday, April 12th, when the reps from Black Hills State University in South Dakota stop by. Later in April, the U.S. Air Force Academy admissions team will visit on Tuesday, April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the Weisfeld High School Auditorium. If you are even slightly interested or curious about Academy life, they're bringing a full-blown presentation where you will learn about the Academy itself, life as a cadet, and how to navigate through the applications and admissions process. Recent graduates will also be available to afterward to answer any questions you may have. This event is open to all students and parents. Students enrolled in AP classes. Your order forms and money are due today in the business office. Seniors, if it's March, it must be time to pick up your Herf Jones graduation announcements. Herf Jones will be in the auditorium next week on Tuesday, March 20th to distribute your announcement orders. If you owe a balance on your order, please try to pay it off before Tuesday or bring your money that day. You cannot pick up your order without full payment. Remember to bring a picture ID with you to pick up your Herf Jones orders. And finally for seniors, the Counseling Center is preparing their Senior Awards Night recognition presentation. Please bring in any scholarship and award letters, acceptance letters, and any military awards and grants you may have received even if you do not plan to accept them. See Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center for more information. And now let's check in with Ms. Betsy for today's lunch menu. Happy Friday everybody! Today on the menu we're going to have mandarin chicken! Yum! And then on Monday, it's cheeseburgers. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. The Pennies for Puppies campaign ends today. The advisory class that brought in the most donations will earn a pizza party. The campaign will run until this afternoon. Before we throw it to the sports desk, the Life Skills team is inviting everyone to rock your socks on Wednesday, March 21st to raise awareness about National Down Syndrome Day. Check out their message. On March 21st, wear cushy socks for the Down Syndrome Day. Here's what you need to do. Next Wednesday, wear your craziest socks to school. At lunch, stop by the table so student cabinet members can photograph your socks. Life skills students will select winners for the top three favorite crazy socks. Winners will be announced at the end of the day and will be awarded prizes. Remember to rock your socks. We'll be back after the sports update with fundraising information and other events happening this week. But first, here's Dylan Mack with some sports news. Top of the morning to you, Glads. I'm Dylan Mack with your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, powder puff time is right around the corner. And student cabinet needs players, cheerleaders, and coaches. If you want to participate, see Miss Melton in room 103 to sign up and pick up your permission slip. Permission slips are due by next Friday, March 23rd. Glads, the Warrior Games have been rescheduled to April 13th and Student Cabinet still has spots for some strong warriors for the game against Fountain Fort Carson. See Miss Melton in room 103. Let's keep our winning streak going. Good luck to the forensics team as they head to Rocky Mountain High School in Fort Collins for the state competition this weekend. We expect to see the team return with some hardware. We'll have results for you on Monday. In baseball news, the varsity team took their bats to Pablo East but couldn't get their bats working and took a loss. If you haven't had a chance to catch the boys in action this season, they take the mound this Saturday right here at Big Blue against Pablo Centennial at 10 a.m. If you cannot make the game, no worries. You can still support the team at their Baseball Spirit Day fundraiser on Monday at the Chick-fil-A on the Parkway from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Let them know you're with Widefield High School and a portion of the sales will be donated to the baseball team. Come on out and eat more chicken on Monday. The varsity track team is headed south Pueblo this Saturday for the Bulldog invite. If you can, make it to support them. They'd appreciate it. Our ladies soccer team traveled to Pueblo last night to take on the East Eagles and kicked a win for their book. The ladies take their game to Florence this Saturday. Play those Eagles 
at 10 a.m. If you can make it down there, the ladies would appreciate your support. Our Ultimate Frisbee team has two matches this Saturday. The first match will be against Siva Charter School at noon, and then at 2 p.m., the team takes on Air Academy KDA. All games will be played at El Pomar Youth Sports Park. Come out and support the Ultimate Frisbee team tomorrow. Now here's Doc with the health tip of the week. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So this week we're talking about sunshine. So sunshine is important because it gives vitamin D. Vitamin D is absorbed by your bones and is used to help with serotonin levels. Serotonin is one of the happy chemicals in our brain that help us to experience life and enjoy things. When we go out and we get sunshine, it reduces our feelings of sadness. It helps us to regulate our body processes better. And emotionally, we feel better overall. So while the sun is starting to shine more, you should get out and get some vitamin D and be happy. Thanks, Doc. Glad. There will be plenty of opportunities to get some sunshine this weekend. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to all our athletes this weekend. I'm Dylan Mack. Now back to you, Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks, Dylan. The book fair is closing down this afternoon. Stop by at lunch or after school in the library. Go check it out. Thanks to everyone who was able to donate blood yesterday. Your donation is greatly appreciated and will go far in our community. If you're interested in becoming a Link Crew leader but missed the meeting on Wednesday, please see Ms. Murphy, Ms. Veroni, or Ms. Walker for applications and information. Juniors and seniors, the prom theme has been revealed in this year it's Masquerade. The prom will be on Saturday, April 21st from 6.30 p.m. to midnight at the Doubletree World Arena. Ticket prices March 19th through the 21st are $45. Starting March 22nd, ticket prices go up to $50. Because they must have a headcount for dinner, you cannot buy tickets at the door. Make a note of these simple rules for wearing masks. All masks must be pre-approved, so please check in with Mrs. Molyneux in room 166 or Mrs. Fowler in room 144 during lunch and after school through Friday before prom. You can wear your mask in the ballroom area, but when you are in the general hotel area, including at check-in, chaperones must be able to see your beautiful faces. Oh, and remember, Masks must be removable and full face masks are not allowed. That's all for our news today. I'm Corinne McMcAfee. Remember, we have one more week of school before spring break. We can do this. And I'm Jeremiah McJones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great St. Patrick's Day.